Achtung. Zwei vor. Alle bereit. In fünf, vier, drei, zwei. A wonderful good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Trayton TV and welcome to Trayton's housewarming event live from Hanover. Housewarming, you may wonder, well, this is the first time ever that the Trayton Group, formerly known as Volkswagen Truck and Bus, joins all of its brands literally under one roof. We have MAN and Scania, Volkswagen Camionese Bus and Rio all here in Trayton Hall. But what does Trayton actually mean? Therefore, let me introduce to you to uh, Wolfgang Meisen from the Trayton Communication Team. It's great to have you here. Hey, Desi. Thanks for having me. So your claim here at IAA is transforming transportation. Is that what Trayton stands for? Definitely. Trayton stands for a new company in a new era of transportation. And if you go by the word, Trayton contains the, uh, the letters like train, train for transport, our core business. Sure transformation because there's transformation everywhere in our world and uh, obviously for tradition of our brands because there is no proper future without uh, strong roots and the tradition in our brands and in their vast experience. That sounds really good to me. So now we focus on the tray in Trayton. Let's have a look at the ton. Does it stand for tonnage maybe? Sure. I mean uh, tonnage is what our customers carry around the planet every day. But it also contains the on for being always on, an attitude in the way we serve our customers and their ideal scenario, a continuous flow in logistics, being always on, and that's what Trayton stands for. And that's a great promise, of course, and really creative. Talking about always on, I just get the information that the main event is about to start. So let's get back to this later, because now we hand over to the main stage. Here we go. While you sleep, billions of tones are moved. Goods are delivered, and shelves are stocked. Because transportation is what keeps our world in motion, we create new dimensions of movement, find greener ways and optimize flow. With innovative solutions, we equip those who deliver. We put people and industries in motion, together. We've created a place where unity thrives and barriers are removed. Where talent is harnessed, Collaboration is key. And together with our partners, we are transforming transportation. We are on a mission to make the world move better. So that kilometer by kilometer, day by day, we all become smarter. And this is just the beginning.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trayton and welcome to our housewarming. Tonight, we are celebrating a new chapter of our company history and we are honestly very proud to have you all here with us tonight. Thank you very much for coming. I would like to welcome some special guests. From the Trade and Supervisory Board, Lisa Lorenzon. The members of the Supervisory Board have been a huge support of our group over the last exciting months. It's great to have you here. And from the Volkswagen Board of Management, we have Jochen Heizmann here. Welcome. <laughs> and a big welcome also to Bernhard Mattes, the president of the VDA and therefore the host of the IIA. Ladies and gentlemen, we have invited to a housewarming. Why? Because for the first time ever, we have all of our family members and partners under just one roof here in Hall 12. And for the very first time, we are here as Trayton, formerly known as Volkswagen Truck and Bus. The concept of the evening is simple, no long-lasting press conference, but a lot of room for personal talks with all of us, our executives and partners. And Trayton values strong partnerships. That's why we are very honored to have all of our partners here tonight. From Japan, Shimusan, CEO of Hino Motors. From the US, Troy Clark, CEO of Navistar. And from China, President Tsai from Sinotruck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for flying over to Germany. And of course, we have with us tonight Thomas Sedran, the brand new CEO of Volkswagen Commercial Vehicles and also the co-host here in Hall 12. Welcome, Thomas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as most of you know, a lot of things have changed for us since last IAA, and I'm sure you are aware of the latest news earlier this week. They show very well, we walk the talk. In only three years, we have transformed from a startup to a company on its way to capital market readiness. The best person to explain this story is my boss, Andreas Rentschler. Andreas, the floor is yours. So, welcome to Drayton. Dear journalists and uh, representatives of the media, let me share a personal story with you. It started back when I was a kid in the 1960s. My parents were farmers and it's no surprise that they had a tractor and I loved it. So it's fair enough to say I was driving my first commercial vehicle at the age of 10. But a tractor was just the beginning of a passion. Big trucks these days were much smaller than today. Some of them looked really strange from today's perspective, they were way less powerful but needed 50 liters easily. 
And I admired the people who drove them. When I was asked on my career aspiration, I used to answer, I want to become a truck driver. In fact, I missed that goal. But as you all know, I made it into the commercial vehicle business. I have always stuck with the passion and fascinating fascination for this big vehicles. And I often mention this, truckers are the ones who, moves, who move the stuff, who make deliveries happen day and night, in summer heat and snowfall, under time pressure and in a nasty traffic condition. In fact, all of us at Drayton, we have some of this attitude. We want to move the things forward. At MAN, at Scania, at Volkswagen Truck and Bus from Brazil, and at Rio. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drayton formerly known as Volkswagen Truck and Bus. Today is a big day for us, no matter which way you put it. Julia just mentioned, it is the first time for us and our brands to exhibit under one roof as one team. We are proud of what we have achieved three years after our foundation. And we are excited to look ahead. We have built up our home here at the show. And what do you do when you have moved? When you have furbished the new home? Yes, you will invite friends, and neighbors and special guests to share it. You ask them to chat and enjoy. This is what we ask you to come for tonight. Let me share a few thoughts on why we are, who we are, and what this means for the world around us. First of all, there is ongoing need for transportation, massively and globally. And it keeps extending. But the world of transport is changing due to alternative drivetrains, due to digitalization, due to new customized needs, for more sustainable ways of transporting goods and people. Furthermore, our entire world is changing. Established rules and models are being questioned. New ideas for how to handle our climate issues came up. New technologies unfold. Digitalization opens a new area. New lifestyles appear. New business models developed or are developed. To keep it short, there is transformation in every angle of our world. And Drayton stands for transformation. We are transforming transportation. However, there cannot be any transformation without strong roots. For us, these roots come from our brands. 
based on their long history and huge experience, our tradition. And what drives us forward? First of all, our customers and their customers. Buyers and users of our vehicles and services. Those who transport a lot of tonnage every day. They are the one thing that keeps us on fire, that enables us to be always on. To face our challenges by following our Drayton core attitude. Trust and responsibility with each other. And these challenges are exciting. We want to drive transportation to the next level. As it goes with our claim, transforming transportation. Not despite of so much change in today's world, but because of it. By using the immense forces that arise from major changes. At Drayton, we believe in the idea of better transportation. Because better transportation makes a better world. I am happy it's not just me addressing this today. The movie you saw in the beginning made this very clear. Our employees are backing the idea. They are the ones who are passionate, who are shaping the shift every day. And I'm truly proud to head such a great team the strongest asset you can have. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you all are aware of the news that we have released earlier this week. We are well on track with our process of preparing the trading group for capital market readiness. Now, Drayton will enter the next stage of preparation for a potential IPO. The Volkswagen AG Supervisory Board gave us green light just yesterday. Therefore, we will transfer the organization to the legal status of a SE by the end of this year. For us, this is a very important milestone and the entire team is excited to take the next steps. This is where the big ideas comes down to concrete action. So, after describing the why behind Drayton, let me now share some more concrete insights on the how. How are we proceeding on our way to creating a global champion? At Drayton, we are absolutely convinced successful customers means most success for us. Success is when we enable our customers to improve their businesses. It's about them, not about us because only successful clients can make us successful at the end of the day. What does that mean for the way we act? Given our strong customer focus, it is essentially important for us to set up our company accordingly and to be open to adopt it over and over again. What am I talking about? Well, let's have a quick look back. Only three years ago, exactly in 2015, we started our company. 
We are youngsters in this regard. But the grace of our late birth, we have the freedom to design. The spirit and openness to question established structures. We are designed. We are designed for and born in a new area of transportation. This is releasing new energy, bundling our forces. It gives us a unique competitive advantage. And our new name, Drayton, incorporates all of that. We are serious in our ambitions. And we have nothing to hide. This is why we should not forget that every transformation requires new ways to face challenges. Every transformation includes temporary tensions or construction sites. This is no secret. But this is in fact won't stop us from going forward full speed towards our role as a global champion. So let's face it. What are the construction sites I'm talking about? We are following a dedicated strategy to achieve our next level. And this strategy focuses on four activity fields. Number one, brand performance. Meaning a successful and profitable business for our individual commercial vehicle brands. MAN, Scania and Volkswagen truck and bus in Latin America. Number two, global expansion. Meaning to extend our business from local areas to a global span of solutions in all relevant markets from Europe to America and Asia. Number three, cooperation and synergies. That is focusing on teamwork, both within our group, but also with our external partners. Doing something together builds a stronger, a stronger basis and broadens the range of power. And number four, future business models. Given the huge changes in our world, especially in the transport sector, our business model is changing. We are transforming towards a new ways to make business. To make it clear, this is not no longer just building and selling trucks and buses. It means to offer an entire range of mobility services. These will be both online and offline. And they shape our future ways of making business. We don't just talk about tomorrow, but actually, we actually face these new models. For example, with our digital platforms. By following this dedicated strategy, we have further clarified the positioning of our brands. A clear differentiation is key. And every of our players has a unique role. We have very few overlaps, but a broad and strong positioning in markets, in regions, and product segments. How does that look like? Let me explain. MIN simplifies our customers' business as the most reliable business partner with value package and full line offering. 
MAN has a strong product pipeline and electrification technology. Scania is driving the shift towards a sustainable transport system. And Scania is premium innovation leader for sustainable transport solution. Volkswagen Truck and Bus is the market leader in Brazil and offers best value for money and tailor-made products. In other words, less you don't want, more you don't need. Rio is a digital open platform that is driving transportation to the next level. While improving our customers' businesses through a broad range of smart cloud-based solutions. But, and this is important, this does not make our team complete. No. Instead, we are focusing on smart partnerships. Wherever they make sense. Being smart does not mean to do and own everything yourself. I'm convinced these days are gone. Being smart today comes with acting smart together with strong partners. And when it comes to growth, being smart also means being fast. By trust and collaboration, we are growing and enhancing together. And I am talking about building platforms, not enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, I have talked about why we do what we do. I talked about how we proceed. So ultimately, let me dive in a little bit, a little bit deeper on what we do. What did we achieve so far? What's up next? What are we actually delivering at the end of the day? And let me tell you, there is no better place to discuss this than right here in Hall 12. This is Drayton, with its brands, including VW Commercial Vehicles, the co-host of this hall. When I mention partners, I mention them as a part of the Drayton idea. That is our sense of working together. Every single one of our partnerships is different, and every one is valuable. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me actually present our partners, here and now. Starting with the new kid on the block. The news about our new partnership with Solera has been released only today. It shows the growing impact of digital services on our business. We are proud to welcome with us tonight Mr. Tony Aquila, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Solera, a digital technology expert from the United States. 
Tony, please join me on the stage. <laughs> Glad to be here. It's pretty exciting for us to partner with Andres and his team. And so, how do you feel to be here at Drayton? I'm really excited. I mean, for us, this is uh, a lot of time and a lot of work by our engineers and many of the MAN team to bring something pretty exciting. So we're really happy to be focused on productivity and the journey of being cool in the truck. You saw on the movie this, uh, I call it, little farm when the door opens. I was visiting you there, I think, when we met the first time. It was very impressive to see this creativity on the digital area. So I'm glad that you seem to be happy. I'm very happy. As I said, you and your company are focusing on the digital business in the commercial mobility sector. We, we are handling hardware, you know, big trucks, nice trucks, and I like them, like I said before. But tell us your opinion how this fits together. So, first of all, um, for us to be selected uh, was a huge uh, vote of confidence uh, from Andreas and his team, so we thank everyone. Um, but the way we see the world changing is that we have to make sure that the truck driver and the experience uh, of that is continuous with the hardware itself, as we see in all digitalization movements. And so we're very focused on our part of the journey of Trayton to bring a better lifestyle and a better journey to being cool in the truck. So, oh, thank you, Tony. It's great to have you on board. Thanks a lot. You bet, man. I'm convinced that this partnership will accelerate our digital undertaking to be faster and, again, to satisfy our customers better than today. You see, becoming a global champion also means thinking outside the box. In order to transform a commercial vehicle company to a digital service provider, I'm convinced we need partners from many different areas, as you just saw with Solera. It takes courage and openness for the spirit of new entrepreneurs and the creativity of startups. But I'm convinced this is the right way. Being kind of a startup ourselves, we have the guts and the mindset to do that. I mentioned earlier, to partner does not necessarily need to be an investor. Working together, is a matter of smartness, flexibility, and pluralism. In a strong partnership, we can have mutual benefits and share strengths to build a win-win relationship. It is a free choice to collaborate on eye level. In this regard, we announced our partnership with Hino Motors from Japan only a half a year ago. And I am really enjoying this partnership. Please welcome Yoshioi Shimo-san, CEO of Hono, Hino Motors. I'm an honor to have you here, Yoshi. Thank you. Please take a seat.
<laughs> now it looks a little bit more than housewarming, yeah, with uh, the sofa here. Uh, could you tell us, Yoshi, a little bit about what is the focus of Hino joining the alliance with Straton? Okay, Andy. Good evening. Thank you very much for uh, having me here tonight. Uh, let, let me touch uh, a little on Hino. Hino marked its 75th anniversary last year, and we are proud of having a strong presence in Japan and Asia. Sales of trucks and buses totals 200,000 units per year in over 80 countries and regions. Talking about the alliance with Triton, both our companies share very similar views. And we do share one common goal, don't we? Always offer the highest value to our customers. Since we announced our partnership in April, we've been learning a lot from each other. We've been aiming to build a strategic partnership which brings us mutual benefit. The fields of learning include transformation in transportation, electrification, technology, connectivity, and others. The interactions between the two partners bring various possibilities in order to offer the highest value for our customers. Thank you, Yoshi. I have to say I like the term mutual benefits and indeed learning. Yesterday, we marked an important milestone on that journey, which uh, was in the cooperation in e-mobility and the signing of a planned procurement joint venture. Mm. Can you give us your thoughts on that? Sure, Andy. Today, I'm very much delighted that we made progress in e-mobility and procure procurement, which benefits customers, society, and our companies. Our cooperation in e-mobility has uh, complementary approaches, which is trade on focusing on heavy duty applications, and here you know, focusing on light and medium duty tracks. Joining forces will strengthen our innovative power. The establishment of the new procurement joint venture aims for global optimum procurement for existing parts and parts for new technologies. This will realize our goal of trucks and buses that do more. And with every new meeting that we have, I gain confidence that we are moving in the right direction. We are working together to strengthen our relations of trust and to pursue further possibilities for our customers. So thank you very much, Yoshi. Take a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very different partner that stands for a reliant collaboration for nearly 10 years already. This is Sinodrug, with MIN holding a share of 25% of a stake in Sinodrug.
I'm happy you are here with us tonight. CEO, Mr. Tsai Dong. <laughs> Ni hao, President Tsai. Good to have you here. We have been uh, cooperating since uh, 2009, and there are some exciting news published today. Please have a seat. What is changing now with the new form of a joint venture we want to establish? We already have a great cooperation with MAN. Now we look forward to extending the partnership even further and tighten the technology cooperation between the companies. Together we want to localize uh, MN heavy duty truck in China. You know, China is the largest uh, heavy duty truck market in the world. Yeah, that's right. So that was one of the major reasons we formed this joint venture. You know, President Tsai, I have to admit, it is always amazing to travel to China. It is such a different country and a different culture. Can you describe a little bit what makes the Chinese truck market so special? In China, we have a different situation of transportation and traffic. Mostly, it is about urban environments with a very dense population. Many infrastructure projects and daily demands require lots of transportation, but one very essential fact that few people know is China today is fully focused on maximize uptime and the quality. This requires a dedicated market approach. Together with Tradon, we can handle it. So, President Tsai, thank you very much for chatting with me and thanks a lot for coming. For those of you who joined us at the last IAA, the show here in Hanover two years ago, you remember our partner from Chicago, Navy Star. Our group holds a 70% stake in this leading American player. Troy Clark, please come on stage. <laughs> hey, my friend, good to have good you to here you. again. Take a seat. Thank you. There's a true success story both of us have written in the past two years. What was the biggest achievement for us as partners from your point of view? Well, I, I, think, I think first I just want to say how proud we are to be an alliance partner at Trayton. And the thing that I think has impressed all of us the most is the scope and rapid pace at which we've discovered synergies and turned those into projects. I mean, I can talk about the purchasing joint venture, which is delivering real results, I think, to both partners as we speak. E-mobility, we have a jointly developed electric school bus that is touring the United States right now, today. And that's, and you know, it really goes without saying, you know, we have the joint powertrain projects and our joint projects and key unconnected vehicles and, and connectivity. Again, the scope, scale, and speed with which we've been able to get this partnership off the ground is, is incredibly impressive. Yeah, I remember when we introduced the electric fight uh, school bus last year yeah. at a uh, specific bus show. So try it. We have just renamed ourselves as Straton. Now, honestly, what came to your mind when you heard 
the new name Drayton for the first time? Well, I, you know, I think first off, um, an endeavor, a, a global champion such as you've described to us and allowed us to participate in those discussions many times, it deserved its own, its own name. So we were very glad to, hear, glad to hear about the name Trayton. But then after that, I think the first thing that came to mind was this concept of a, of a blank canvas. And on this canvas, you know, I think together, we can create not only a successful enterprise, not only a global champion, but I think it's possible to create the future of commercial transportation. And we are very, very excited to be a part of that. So thank you, Troy. Thank you, Yoshi, President mm. Tsai. Thanks, Tony, as well. I think let us work together to form something special the industry never has seen. Thanks for coming again. Okay. So as you can see, we are truly proud of our partners. Together, we have the right setup to be positioned exactly where we needed to be. Let me show some impressions on what this means concretely for our business. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our passion for transportation technology. This is what we are showing right here in Hannover. With the Scania area displaying only alternative drivetrain vehicles. With a MIN area focusing on simplifying our customer's business from platooning to urban transport. And this is something secret. I can only recommend you to keep an eye on that. MIN will present a special piece of engineering in their press conference tomorrow. So you should, or let's say you must be there. Plus, with the Volkswagen truck and bus area, showing clean, connected and tailored solution. All of them fully equipped and connected with the Rio box. And with our digital open platform Rio, showing for the first time here, we are connecting the transport and logistics supply chain through a broad range of smart cloud-based solutions. Well, last but not least, we have mentioned the capital market readiness. Today, we released our plans to prepare a possible IPO. As Drayton Group, we have the right framework. Where are we? 
and where are we heading in terms of numbers? With 81,000 employees and 31 production sites in 17 countries, we are already the number one in the heavy-duty markets of Europe and Brazil. In the first half of 2018, our group sold around 112,000 vehicles and thereby increased the total sales 16% year on year. Our return on sales is already at 6.9%, a third higher than only two years ago. But in the long run, we want to gear up to 9% over the cycle. We already sell more than 200,000 vehicles per year ourselves. More importantly, combined, with all of our brands and partners, we have a gigantic fleet potential of 423,000 heavy-duty trucks sold in 2017. 450,000 vehicles of our brands are already online. By the end of the year, with Navy Star joining the Rio platform, we will have combined 900,000 connected vehicles on the roads, transferring and receiving data in real time. We hold over 2,000 essential patents in the fields of autonomous driving, connected and electrified transport solutions. Within the next decade, every second truck in our group will be based on the same common base engine. This is a great result of joint engineering activities. Another nice example is our common transmission. We already have more than 22,000 in use today. And at Drayton, we are only at the beginning of the full potential we can rise from group and partner synergies. We have only three years behind us. Ladies and gentlemen, I talked a lot about what we do and will do. We are in the midst of one of the most exciting shifts in history. But we should never lose focus. And this focus is always our customer. In a new situation like ours, not everything works perfectly right from the beginning. But we all know this is acceptable as long as long we keep on going the path together with our customers. The ones who buy and use our vehicles. The ones who make their business and who make their living relying on our products and services. I look forward to meeting as many as possible of them in the next days here in Hannover. And I'm more than happy to be here with you tonight to celebrate our housewarming together and to get into personal conversations later on. Again, welcome to Drayton. Enjoy the night. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andreas. We will soon start the more informal part of the evening. Remember, it's our housewarming party. You are the guests. And I will now present you to the hosts of the evening, the management behind Trayton and the brands in Hall 12. First is Christian Schulz. It's our CFO and the youngest member of the Trayton board. 
He only started three months ago. Joachim Drees. He is responsible for our Germany-based brand, CEO of MAN since 2015, and member of the Trade Board. Welcome. <laughs> Henrik Henriksson, from the north of Europe in Sweden, the president and CEO of Scania AB and member of the Trade Board. <laughs> Roberto Cortes. He had the longest travel distance to be with us tonight from Sao Paulo Hello. to Hanover. <laughs> Please welcome CEO of Volkswagen Caminho is the Onibus and member of the Trade Board. Carsten Intra. Great people are the basis for our success and he is our human resources officer. <laughs> Dirk Große Loheide. The gentleman who handles all our purchasing activities, he's our chief purchasing officer. Next is Anders Nielsen, the chief technology officer of Trayton. Ah. And last but not least, again, Thomas Sedran, CEO oh, yes, of like Volkswagen that. Commercial Vehicles. <laughs> Welcome, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> All the hosts are available for you tonight, and I think it's a great chance to chat with all of them. And those who are into jazz, they will love the artists performing here on stage after uh, the show today. It's Nils Landgren, and we are very proud to have him here with us tonight. Just one little hint for the media. You will find all important information and uh, schedules on our Trayton app. And uh, there you can see what's going on in the next days here at the IIA. So have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the housewarming. And whoever now would like to make some photos from our board, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Wow, exciting times ahead. And as you mentioned, yes, transformation is everywhere. So to, to be ready for the future, to meet future needs and to drive this kind of change, it is crucial to keep an open mind, to also be open for new business models and team up with the right partners, of course. Uh, so exciting news from CEO Rentschner. Wolfgang, what do you think about this new corporation just announced? Oh, I think this is exciting news, not only for Trayton, it's exciting news for the entire industry. Uh, Solera is the first partner of Trayton that is not a traditional vehicle supplier. It's a, a digital company focusing on software and cloud-based solutions. And this is where we see future business models in the future. So the partnership also underlines the serious ambitions of Trayton in moving forward. Also what uh, CEO Rentschler announced today about uh, our plans to prepare a potential IPO in the near future. So I think this is a great day for Trayton today and uh, it's going to be a very exciting future for the company as a group. So congratulations and best of luck and success with your new family members, so to say. Thank you. <laughs> and also tomorrow we have an exciting day ahead. It's the first official media day here at IIA. And uh, here at uh, Trayton Hall, we will host the media conferences of MAN and Scania. Of course, also live on Trayton TV. So so make sure you tune in tomorrow starting from 8 a.m. For now, have a lovely evening, good night, and thanks for watching.